I don't know, I guess let's look for a tiger mackerel, right? I think that would make sense. It said before we found it near Gale Cliffs. But if I'm being honest, I don't even know where that is. <laughs> Welcome back to another Dredge gameplay video. We're gonna get back to the seven seas here. We're gonna sail, we're gonna fish, we're gonna do it all today. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to fish and sail and do it all. Let's get right into the video. All right, where the heck did we leave off? Um, I'm pretty sure we have some crabs to check. Right? Yeah. So we're crab fishermen. Let's see. I have to remember where we took it, where we uh, went off this. So we upgraded our ship and we have like three engine spots now, which is, let me just say, so nice. Um, we upgraded our fishing spots a little bit too. So we got this hydraulic rod situation, which allows us to catch oceanic. We have a basic fishing pole, which allows us to catch coastal. And then we have a simple skimmer, folks. It allows us to catch shallow water fishies. Um, and then we have a sign of ruin. That guy over there, after we blew up the, the rock bridge for him, he now allows us to buy explosives from him, which means... We could probably buy explosives and blow that up right there. So let's get to that. Look at that dock job, dude. Call me Parallel Docker. You guys know how to Parallel Dock? Didn't think so. Um, No, where do we sell fish? The fish market. Naturally. What am I, a fucking novice? Wow, it's been too long since I played this. Okay. Alright, let's go. No, no, we have explosives, right? Didn't I put them in storage? Packed explosives. Here we go. Probably just need one, right? Use explosives. Okay. Usually you set the explosives, light them, run away. But I guess we're uh, we're immune to damage, folks. Oh no, we need more. A few minutes later. Let's go blow some shit up. Use explosives. Look at that, guys. We are changing the environment around us to suit our needs. Oh, let me get rid of this fucking... Hold on. Let's get rid of this sub count. This isn't Twitch, guys. Ooh, it's sparkly. I think that means there's a special fish there. Look at that. Decaying blackmouth. Fucking... <laughs> Dude, decaying blackmouth. They haven't called me that since college. What? Let's research something. Boom, we spent one, and now we have a flexible fishing pole, which allows us to catch both coastal and shallow, but it takes up three spots. Ooh, plus one engine space would be good. What do we need? Two metal scraps, two wood. So we should definitely focus on getting two metal scraps and two wood. All right, let's rest for the day. Uh, we'll tackle it tomorrow. A good fisherman always needs his rest. They don't tell you that in fishing school. You gotta learn that on the open ocean, folks. But uh, yeah, let's... Let's check our traps real quick. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Honestly, we're gonna need a bigger boat. Look, we can't even fit all the crabs we're catching, folks. That's crazy. Wow, these, these fucking crab pots are paying off. I mean, tenfold. Let me tell you. How many days do they have left? Three days? Bro, we don't even have to change. We don't have to repair them for like three whole days. That's crazy, dude. We're gonna go through this passage again and look for more like metal and shit. We need metal, scraps, and wood, people. That's what we need. There was also a monster in these parts. No idea what happened to him. Honestly? I'm not gonna ask. Oh, there's a cave there! Is that where the monster goes? Whatever, let's not worry about it cross that bridge when we come to it you know is there any so i see a part to explode over there we can explode that in a moment i also see some wood some metal scraps perfect that's great that's just great that's exactly what we needed oh we can get more wait i don't know if we can fit these no we can no 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 no, no. put my light back on Put the light back on. Put the light back on. Why'd my light go out? Jesus Christ. 
the ghosts are having a fun time trolling us today, I guess. Alright, we're back, we're back, we're back. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Were you worried? Don't be worried. Uh, let's go to the floating dock. Put these right in here. Might as well. Don't even let them take up space in the storage. Put this here. Put that in there. Look at that. We're making moves. We're making money moves, guys. We do need wood, though. Is that wood? That's wood. That's wood. Oh, my God. Never thought I'd be so happy to see hardwood, folks. Beautiful. Oh, oh, more? Oh, more? Sure. Oh, of course. Give me more. Give me more wood, Daddy. Ah! Get out of here. Get out of here. The thing's chasing us. Please, does it, it doesn't follow us into the ocean, right? No, why is it following us? That thing shouldn't follow us, right? Dude, stay in your cave where you belong. Oh, my God. You fucking loser. Stop trying to interrupt. We're having a great time fishing out here, making friends, making fish, making money. You're trying to interrupt me, dude? Not cool. Man, I swear, this is just like real life, folks. Not enough time in a day, let me tell you. Not enough time in a day. It's like, you ever feel like in real life? I don't know, if you try to, like, go to work... Get, like cook cook a uh, cook a meal or two, right? Maybe get your fitness, get your exercise in, and then if you ask, if you want to get like one errand done that day, one outside thing that didn't relate to any of those, your whole day is gone. If you if you try to do everything I just named, right? Go to work, get a workout in, cook a meal or two, and then get one singular errand, like oh, I had to go drop this off at the post office. That's it. That's your whole day. Your whole day is consumed by that. If you want eight hours of sleep, of course. It fucking sucks, bro. Life? Who who, who designed life like this? Not gonna lie. Kind of trash. Uh, let's go to the floating dock, right? We can put in our wood. Purchase upgrade. Fuck yeah, gamers. We don't even have any fish to sell, bro. We're not even fishermen anymore. We're just dumpster divers in the ocean picking up cloth metal and trash that we find and i'm fine with that i really am oh shit wait we have an engine space here now that's interesting okay hold on let's uninstall this put this up here uninstall this send to storage put this here and then we have a peculiar engine here, which isn't as good as these improved outboard. As you can see, this one has 15.8 knots. Knots is a fisherman's term, if you didn't know. This one has 14.7, but honestly, what's a knot? What's one knot in this fisherman's world? Look at this engine, bro. We have like four engines. We have a quad engine going. This thing is so brawlic. No, I wanted to... We just picked that one up. How do I drop the other one? Whatever. We'll have to, uh... We'll have to repair it, then we'll drop it. Whoops. Oh, right there. There's a spot right there. Nope. Uh, not right there. Not right there. See how it says plenty in the bottom right corner? So we can drop a crab pot there. Drop on here, maybe. And then let's pick up our last one. Repair that son of a bitch, that SOB. Sell that. This is a lot of work being a crib, a crib, being a crib fisherman. No, being a crab fisherman. It's a lot of work. People don't tell you that. They don't. Deadliest catch really has hyped up crab fishing to way more than what it actually is. It's actually hard work, long hours. No thanks. No one thanks you. No one says, "Oh, thank you, Mr. Holden, for this delicious crab you've brought us." No, no one says that. It's long hours, hard work, and, you know, it's a grind. It's a grind. It really is. All right. Weird. How do I get to the... What is that rumbling? <gasps> oh, my God. Not this fucking fish, dude. He always chases us. He always chases us. He does not leave us alone. Okay, he's leaving us alone. 
Can we even fit these guys? <sighs> Not really, huh? <gasps> we'll probably have to drop something, but I, I need metal scraps. We might even have to drop this big ass manta ray we just caught. To be honest. Yeah, this is gone. I don't care. Scraps is just more valuable than anything than anything else, really. I'm here for the scraps. Yeah, you gotta go, Manta Ray. I'm sorry. Your devotion to the cause is appreciated, but unnecessary, ultimately. Ooh, wood! Broke yeah, dude! Let's go back to the dock. Love it when a twister forms next to my dock. Let's go to the floating dock. We can put a wood in, purchase upgrade. Put a wood in, put a metal scrap in, purchase upgrade. We're out of money, though. <laughs> All right, we've done a lot of dredging for... Oh, wow, wait, what is this? I have more room for fishing lines. We can make something happen here. We can make something happen, something serious. I think something serious is brewing here, folks. Let's uh, let's check it out. We could get this flexible situation going. Oh, it's four hundred fourteen dollars. Hmm. Let's focus on our crabs first things first. Everyone knows that. I also I think there's like nets and shit. Right? These guys sell nets, right? Or no? They sell nets, and basically I think the way these work lasts for one day. I think the way these work is just you could just kind of cruise around you know cruise on the street and these will pick up fish for you as you drive i don't even know if i like that though to be honest it's like i don't even know if i like that i'd rather my all of my fishing be intentional does that make sense i think let's actually fish through the night here just to make some extra money you know plus eels only form at night and we do need to complete that mission with the conger eel. Basically, we need to age a conger eel. Do so you know what they say about conger eels? They age like a fine wine, folks. Let's go try to find an eel spawn. I also, I don't appreciate the whispers that I'm hearing. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I don't know what that means. Okay, conger eel. Man, they take up so much space, and I don't even think they sell for that much. Whatever, we only need one, I think. Let's check our pursuit, actually. Rotting conger eel. Who we delivered to? Resident of Ingfell. Where's Ingfell? Um, you know what we can do to make sure we complete this mission as well? Let's not sell it. We're going to make sure not to sell it. Be very careful. We're back to $420. First of all, blaze it. Second of all, that's great. Because we were broke like a day ago. Let's go to storage. Then we rest. Go to our storage. It's still fresh, so we need to wait. Anything interesting here? What's that? Whoa! Dolphins! That's cool. You approach a hooded figure swathed in dark blue, blue robes. Their face is barely visible. Fishermen, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper above the wind and waves. Fulfill the hunger. Hmm. I don't have a blue mackerel for you. I definitely want to help you, but I don't have a blue mackerel for you. I'll be on the lookout, though, for sure. In fact, let's mark that. We'll use our new marking feature and say green flag, which means go. We're on the lookout for a blue mackerel. Because that'll help our boy over there out. Is this the mackerel? Oh, it just disappeared in front of our eyes. That's crazy. That was rude as fuck. Not gonna lie. Okay. Are you mackerel? No, you're a squid. I don't particularly care about a squid. Don't we have a... 
We have a pursuit that involves a squ two squid and a black grouper. I don't know if we've even seen a black grouper. Yeah, I mean, look at that, right? No black groupers to be found. I mean, there's only so much I can do if I can't find your black grouper. There's not much to be done. A few inches later. What's this? We caught one of these yet? Black grouper! Hey! We'll speak of the goddamn devil, huh? What's the builder? What's it like out there? I'll say it's peaceful. It's not so bad here. Say, if you can find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap. I could make, an, I could make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. Hey. Hey, I'll take jobs where I can get them, lady. All right, let's go to the shipwright. This is a real hardened woman right here. Take a good look, fellas. Because this is what a real woman looks like. Uh, fishmonger, right? I do have fish for the order. I have the black grouper you asked for. I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. I mean, it talked about new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. I mean, I'll take it. I'm going to sell it, though, right? Fiddler crab and a common crab. Let's go to the shipwright and repair the crab pot. Then let's go to the fishmonger and immediately sell the ship back for 55 beans profit. Let's go. That's called business lady. Oh, wait, we can just sell all fish by pressing F. I didn't even know that. Do I need to keep it? Wow, 120 bucks for the shark. Fuck yeah. Let's sell this. Cool. Now, I want to sell our ring and everything else in storage. I think we can do that across the pond here. Ew, a brood squid. Ew. Tentacles sprout out from a glowing core inside a gelatinous sack. What a, what a terrible combination of two words. Gelatinous sack. I got a gelatinous sack for you. It's in my pants. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make everyone uncomfortable here. All right. Let's go sell. Oh, <gasps> that was close. That was close. But a true fisherman. He, take, he, he spots that. He spots a rock like that before. <gasps> a true fisherman spots a rock like that before I can even touch him. You know what I'm saying? I think adding all these engines might have done us a little... Grieving father? No, I'm so sorry. But by the way, I know you're grieving. Are there any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. This is so sad. I was wondering, I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed in your vessel. You got a good eye, uh, grieving father. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace in his, if his mementos were with me. That's fair, honestly. This is very sad. Okay, let's go to the trader. We're going to sell that. We'll sell the doubloon, the bag of doubloons, the opal ring. Silver trinket, old iron chain, signet ring. Oh, this is this eel's rotting. That means we gotta go sell it. Fuck. Do we need this rot? I'm gonna keep this rot just in case, because you know what happens? Take a lesson. Take a lesson from this. I saw this on that show, Hoarders. Dude, sometimes you throw out your rot, right? You have this rot for months, and then the next day, you're like, oh my god, I literally need rot right now. Like, you have some use for the rot. So... Never throw away your rock, guys. Is that wood? We do need wood as well. We always need wood. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. We have so many tasks. So many tasks that I need to take care of. But I can never say no to hard wood. It's 
pay attention, guys. Hold on. Is this where the belt buckle is? It is, right? Wow, this is... This is a really fast f dredging thing. Oh my god, okay. Bronze belt buckle. Hey, we got it. Alright, we'll get it back to him when we can. <gasps> Wait, guys, do you think his son is the guy on that island over there that was like, please give us food? Could that be him? And is this a blue mackerel to give him? This is! Oh my god, guys, hold on. He's right here, right? That's southeast. That's probably him right there. That's probably his son. Hopefully he's still alive. What, we take one day? One day's not bad. He's lived out here five years. They can survive one more day. Fulfill the hunger. There you go, sir. One blue mackerel. With expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish, tear out the heart, they stuff it in their mouth unceremoniously. Actually, this might not be his son. More, still empty. They point to another shape on the second scroll. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. Well, I don't have that for you. Right over there, I believe. That, that island over there is Ingfell. We really have to deliver this rotting conger eel before it turns into just a rotting sack of rot, you know? It's no time to fish. Get over here and deliver this shit. Ingfell resident. No, it... <laughs> now we have two rot. Now we have two rot. We need to go catch another eel, that means. God damn it. We were too slow. That's my bad, folks. Alright, let's, um... Let's sell all fish. Damn, bro. We're actually... I'm not gonna lie, folks. We're kind of balling out of control out here. With all this money we're making. I should invest it in another boat and then hire another guy to go out and boat and fish. And before you know it, you repeat that ten times and you have a fleet of fishermen and a very successful fishing business. Eels, right? Yes. Okay, we're not gonna fuck it up this time. That's not even the right type of eel, dude. It's so embarrassing. That's not even the right type of eel that we need. We can't even fit this probably. This is a sprouting eel. We want a conger eel. A conga line eel. Which I didn't think we could fit both of these. Nah, we'll just discard this, right? I was gonna say, maybe we could do some... Biddlin' and diddlin' with this. Yeah, no, whatever. I mean, it is an eel. You could just, like, reshape it, right? And just make it go along here, but... Listen... Who am I to argue the physics of a dredge? This beautiful, amazing video game. And then, um... I don't know, I guess let's look for a tiger mackerel, right? I think that would make sense. I'm trying to find one of those suckers. It said before we found it near Gale Cliffs. But if I'm being honest, I don't even know where that is. So what are these X's? We go to this whaler. Is this not the guy who can who sells us explosives? Then we go to the whaling yards. Okay. Let's buy a couple, right? How much are they? Thirty-six bucks. That's a steal, honestly. Thirty-six bucks for some explosives is a steal, folks. I pay way more for that IRL. Okay. We're going to use explosives. Boom. Bada bing and a bottom boom. Let's get some treasure here. Dredge for some treasure. Sapphire earrings. And then what's this? 
A book, maybe? Rusted music box. What is this? A large oak box with a rusted hand crank on the side that emits a low rhythmic chime as it rocks with the waves. I don't even know what that means, dude. She has another research part for us to buy. Perfect. We'll research this. Then we could go to the fish market. No, sorry, to the shipyard. Go to the fishing part. And now we can figure out what we want to do. I'd say we should definitely get one of these, right? A flexible fishing pole. Because this allows us to catch both coastal and shallow. Um, I think that makes sense. I think we could even that here. And then sell this one. And then sell this one as well. Because that replaces both of our needs for those. Then we have the oceanic, of course, here. Go to our storage. How's this eel doing? Stale. We need it to rot, actually. So, hurry up and rot. Rotting. Perfect. Let's go deliver this bad boy. This old, smelly, rotten bad boy. Rotting uh, conger eel is a delicacy around here, actually, folks. Hundred fifty bucks. Hey, we'll take it. I mean, kind of not worth it, but it's fine. We're also looking for tiger mackerel, folks. Is that it? Could this be it? The tiger mac? It is. We're gonna put this here and buy the new upgrade for eight hundred beans, son. Sheesh! Nine new cargo spaces. Look at all that room, boy. Look at all that room. Sheesh! We could even get this if we had more money. Something slithers into your cargo. Infected? Does that mean I have to get rid of it? So this infected thing, I guess it can spread to other fish on here. So first of all, let's, let's drop that and get rid of it. It's rotting. I think that'll, I think he'll accept rotting shit though. I think so. Whoa, okay. The water's getting a little choppy, huh, folks? Sheesh. Okay, he's right up there. He's right around this bend, I believe. He, hopefully, he will accept our offering. And he won't go, oh, this is old. How many days you've been holding this for, Mr. Fisherman? He should just accept it. Snake macro. We have yet to see this, actually. Hmm. Don't know where I'd find that. In the meantime, let's uh, let's fish for these fucking sharks, dude. Sheesh. These things give us like 120 bucks each or something. Ew. Cleft mouth shark. Ew, dude. Ew. You're gross. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I bet our crab pots are doing pretty good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They are doing good. Sell that. Let's repair the crab pot. Take care of the crab pot. Thank the crab pot. Thank you, crab pot. That's what a good fisherman does. This bronze belt buckle. We could go deliver that. Matter of fact, let's do it. We got time. Oh, we also need to look for a bearded mackerel, right? We definitely haven't found that yet, so I don't even know where we'd find it. Ooh, swordfish? Sheesh, look at this bad boy. Look at this bad boy. 
Look at that motherfucker. Sheesh, a sailfish. Sorry, not a swordfish. Oh my gosh. Guys, being a fisherman is so exciting. What's this here? Abyssal. Wow. So it's in like a in like a trench down there or something. In the trench down there. I don't have the right equipment for this spot. Hmm. We'll be back. I wonder what lays down there, dude. Sheesh. Alright. Gotta get some abyssal equipment. That's what I call a perfectly stacked inventory, guys. Take a look. Take a look and take a lesson. And take a learning as well. What does this lady need again? Two lumber, two scrap. We might have that, honestly. No, we actually don't have any lumber. But we do have the two scrap. Okay, so we just need two lumber then and we can complete her quest for her. Look at this. We're really helping out the... We're really giving back to the town here. You know, we're always running errands for everyone. We're keeping that economy going. We essentially rebuilt the city of uh, Greater Marrow on our own. Oh, he gave us a book. Um, we don't want to sell this bronze belt buckle. That'd actually be a terrible move because we're supposed to give it to the gr grieving father. Hey, we'll take a research part. That's very used. That's, that is very worth it. And then let's also sell the sapphire earrings, right? 44 bucks. Yeah, we sell it. I, I, I'm trying to think maybe it'll have another use later on. But, you know, I'm not psychic. I can't possibly know that. All right, we completed the heat resistance lo heat resistant line. So, okay. So we did the heat resistant line, right? Wait, if we have one research park, can we buy this? We did the heat resistant line, so that means we can now get this as well as the anti tangle line. Um, and then we can get the versatile rod, which does everything coastal, shallow, mangrove, volcanic. Let's, uh. Hold on. Let's see if maybe they're selling a research part over there. I want to see if we can get an abyssal line or whatever. Because that could be interesting. That could definitely be interesting. No, stay away, dude. Stay away. Why, what does that mean? Yeah, I went here because I saw there was a special glow, which means that there's a, a special version of the fish, which there was, a snag squid. Whatever the hell that is. Don't ask me. I'm serious. Don't ask me. Stop asking, please. Hey, and a host eel. So the gray eel, they're much more forgiving to your... A rotten mast lays down on this island, half hidden by the fo foliage. At its base, an old boat is cracked in two. Hey, we'll take out a research part. All right, all right. Money moves. Money moves, dude. Fuck yeah. What a huge find. And what might you be? Uh, a bronze whaler. We can go to this floating dock down here. Uh, and that should allow us to research with the new part we just found. Do a little research, you know what I'm saying? These crab pots are probably full. We'll probably be making a pretty penny today. Just give it a sec, you know? Yeah, 100 bucks. Fuck yeah, that's so worth it. Research that. No, we can't. Okay. We probably need to complete this before we can research that. So let's finish this. We might need to complete this whole tree here before we can even touch this. So let's... Honestly, if they're, if they're selling another research part, I'm buying. Okay. 
Okay, that, this actually hasn't fetched us that many crabs, but I guess we only left it for like a day, right? We only left this, this crab pot here for like a day. Sell all this shit again. Okay, we're at a nice $730. Let's go to the floating dock. Let's, let's do this, you know? Some cloth. Now we just need wood. We also need wood for that lady's quest, which I'm very interested in completing that. Because, you know, I would like to help her move and build her own home out at Steel Point, which is, I think, this. Maybe that's Steel Point. This, this thing right there. I don't know. Let's go explore a little bit. Let's go check out what's going on over here. You know? Let's get crazy. Let's just look around, you know? Let's do a little adventure in. Ooh, I see an abandoned ship over there. Also, what's that? Is this the snake mackerel we need? Bro, this might be the snake mackerel. Sturgeon. You disappoint me yet again, fish. Yet again. Is that it? Or is that more sturgeon? Black sea bass. Sea bass probably does give us some good money. Ah, God damn it. Well, let's go check out what's here real quick. A rotting chest peeks out from the skeleton of a wrecked ship. Look inside. Hey, silver trinkets, some doubloons, and some wood. Fuck yeah, gamers. Ooh, and some... A black tip reef shark. Before we do this, can we fit them? Like, are we going to be able to fit these or do I have to drop them? I got an ugly one, too. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Yeah, oh my god, this guy gives us $300. Sheesh, okay. Storage, storage, and storage, and repair, and rest, and wake up early to check the crab traps. And then here's our plan for today, right? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, would you please? Let's take the music box to that guy. Who will take the music box box off us? And I think maybe he'll even like give us some shit for it. I don't know. We'll find out though. Hold on, drink break. Damn, y'all see that? Lightning just struck that island, I think. Okay, yeah. We go to this guy, give him the music box. And then you know he's gonna make some sick beats with it. Whatever he wants to do with it. Put these in storage and take this out. Go to him. He dragged the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. I'm sorry for the damage, sir. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at Cliffs, didn't you? Yes. Ah, excellent. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision, and you stagger back briefly. Ability unlock haste. We got an ability? Ask around the towns in the Marrows. Somebody's sure to know something. The words you read from that book. What did they do to me? Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? Yes, haste. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impact... They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however. It may put a great deal of stress on your engines. How do I even use an ability? I don't even know how. Select it with E and use it by holding right click. So will it damage it, maybe? Sheesh! Look at this speed, boy! Look at this speed! He's the speediest man alive! We're just stacking squids right now, son. Look at this shit. So 
So I wonder, will it damage my engine maybe? Oh wait, look at that in the bottom left. It shows some kind of meter. I wonder, will my damage, will my engine break? If I, we have to see what happens, right? What happens if I go to this? Okay, it just breaks it. Honestly, that's not that bad. I just have to be uh, careful in the bottom left. I have to make sure I don't go above the, you know, recommended engine damage level. 44, 30 bucks, 20 bucks, and then the rest are like 15-ish. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's all in a day's work, guys. Then let's sell this. And this. Cool. We're at $1,600. We're looking good. We're sitting pretty. Um, I guess let's try to maybe get that wood for that lady in steel point. And just for our own woody needs. Just one. I mean, we'll take it. Yes, you know, beggars of wood can't be choosers. Um, Alright, so we should have the wood and shit that that lady wanted. This is just normal mackerel, right? Blade mackerel. Interesting. It's not what we needed. It's, we want snake mackerel to feed that creepy guy on the island. So we have two wood and two scrap in the storage, yeah. Alright, let's go to Steel Point and drop that shit off for her. Now, I believe that she's up here, but I don't actually know. We've never... I don't know where Steel Point is. I think it's up here. We'll see, I guess. Gotta pay attention to this shit. I just pulled right click that I've been checking and gonna break our engines honestly and I'm not trying to spend any more money on this boat this boat's been a fucking money hole since the day I bought it hello other boats That's a boat there? Is that like a ghost ship? Where'd it go? <gasps> ah! What the fuck was that, dude? It pretended to be a boat. Am I crazy? Let's get some squid to calm us down. Damn, bro, that was crazy. That big fish there pretended to be a boat. To lure us in to its cheap tricks. Let's get some more wood while we're here. Is this where she wants to build her home? Yeah, steel point. Perfect. So, first of all, let's research. Boom. Material pile. Boom. 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 Oh, wow. Okay, we can't access our storage from here. We can't access our storage from here, so we actually do need to go back. Um, yeah. Undock, rest, research. No, there's no storage here. I didn't realize. I didn't even bring the shit that I was supposed to bring. Let's see. There might be scraps, like, here. This is treasure. Why am I trolling so hard, bro? Goblet. Goblet on these nuts. Got him. Ha! Got him! Ha! Okay. This should be the final piece of wood we need. So, I mean, the materials that we needed were sitting right here anyway. Just beautiful. Deliver all the necessary materials, you should let the builder know. What does a dock worker need?
What is wrong with this guy? This guy is just sitting by the dock like like a zombie and we're standing with him. His body relaxes suddenly, his eyes snap open again. They're cloudy and expressionless. Fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the water below. A trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. There's some kind of lore going on here, guys, and I don't like it. Not one bit, let me tell you. Your engine, it sounds like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. What a weirdo. Stop being a weirdo, lady. Let's get rid of these fish. Let's uh, repair our damage. And then let's go to the builder. We're going to store her. It's always good to store your builders. All right, let's drop this lady off. Steel point. I think that's her right there. That's where we got to take her. I'm out here being a fucking water taxi, dude. Picking up passengers and dropping them off. This'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. She reaches into her toolbox, pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Fuck yeah. Thank you so much, lady. All right, let's research. All right, versatile rod is now being sold. Okay, now we can research the harvesting platform, dude. Combination of cutting edge fishing technology allows this industrial grade unit to operate at peak efficiency. Fuck yeah, gamers. All right. And then we can't research this yet now. All right, let's just get this then. Oh, I didn't like that noise. Honestly. After that noise. Bro, what are these noises? All right, let's let sleeping dogs lie, honestly. I think we say fucking call it there. We're going to call it there, folks. Um, I feel like we got a lot done today in our fisherman endeavors. Yeah, look at that. That's a big word. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Make sure to come back next week for part three to see what else happens in this game dredge.